Memories of Shell Holding Jasper as a Kitten in New Mexico Jasper, so relaxed on Shell's lap, curled up, half asleep, as much as Shell would let him. He was probably always waiting, unnoticed by all, watching Shell's every move, waiting for her to sit down, hopping up on her lap, curling up, then purring. Of all four of us, Shell, Jane, Maria, and myself, Shell was always Jasper's favorite. I'm not sure why. It's possible, of all of us, Jasper was her favorite, too. Of the guns we had around at the time, Souls 44 seemed another favorite. Seemed quite a large firearm, given Shell's weight and height, but the kick on it was negligible. Sounds like cracks of thunder, truly. It depends on the person wielding it, any firearm, what's going on within their soul, to how it sounds as an extension. This doubtful makes sense scientifically, at least with current knowledge, but I must assure you, once one learns the language, there's no mistakes after that about it. The truth shines through every time, past the weapon to the person's heart. Shell, as I was saying, cracks of thunder every time she pulls the trigger. There's more involved somehow, maybe supernatural. A bit scary in all honesty. Two fours added up equals eight, the symbol for infinity. Her favorite gun, the one with the old sailing ships on it, Souls 44. Shell presently in the memory, and maybe presently with Jane now, talking, standing next to the window, smoking a cigarette. As healthy as anyone, as quick-witted as lightning itself. Shell and Jane, Maria, Soul, disperse this way and that. Jasper hopping up to sit on her lap, curling up, falling asleep, purring. Soul up north presently, pondering where it's headed, which way it's all going to go. Are you ready? Jane asks. Yeah. Shell crushes out her cigarette in the ashtray on the windowsill. Early morning, mostly dark. It's dawn. 